So I thought I would do a long awaited shrimp tank update. I'll just take you through all of my shrimp tanks and let you know how things are going, what's changed, all that type of stuff. If you are new to this channel, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd subscribe and also hit that like button and leave me a comment. It really helps my channel grow and it helps the hobby grow, especially within the shrimp keeping hobby. There's not a ton of YouTube channels out there. So we need to change that. We need to get more um, shrimp related YouTube channels out there. I also do fish. If you watch my videos regularly, you know that I keep big cichlids and saltwater reef tanks as well, but I try to do separate shrimp updates uh, because I think it's uh, a good thing to have uh, more shrimp videos out on YouTube. If you're looking for shrimp food and shrimp related products, I do run a website called Aquatic Support Systems. Um, and I sell Glass Garten, Shrimp King, Low Keys, MK Breed, Salty Shrimp, just to name some of the brands. I've got all sorts of good foods and uh, additives and, and remineralizers and things like that, moss ledges, fish food, anything you need. So appreciate it if you check that out too and uh, love to be able to earn your business. Let's get started with the update. All right, we're gonna start here with the good old handy dandy uh, four tank rack that's uh, between two of my fish tanks. Start with the old um, crystal red tank. Uh, this colony has been rolling for like five years. I did recently add some new blood to it. Uh, they took the food and brought it all the way to the back of the tank, so I'm kind of having to zoom in here. But these are like A to S grade, um, some maybe a little bit higher grade, but they're your basic crystal reds. They, they breed true, um, they breed a lot for me. They're very hardy and they're by far my biggest selling shrimp. Um, I've always got these available if you are looking um, just go to my website, AquaticSupportSystems.com, and find my email on there and email me. I don't list these on my website because I just never know as far as quantity goes, but you can find my contact info on there. Or drop me a comment below and I'll shoot you my email in the comment. <clears throat> uh, next door here are the uh, Black Pintos. Doing pretty good. Um, I've seen a few babies in here recently. So I know that they have been breeding a little bit. I can't seem to spot any right now, but different grades and different patterns and that type of thing in here. Um, been noticing a lot of uh, what they call the dance lately, uh, meaning that the sh um, shrimp are swimming around, as you can see, that means that they're ready to breed. So they're doing good overall, um, can't complain may look into adding some more of these in the near future just to kind of up the colony see if we can't get zoomed in a little bit on some uh right next door here are the um i'm not sure if i've even done a video since i've had these but these are the fancy red tigers i've got these are lower grade i bought them from eric lucas um if any of you guys know him know his website buy shrimp buy pet shrimp.com or see his postings he has these available quite a bit and they are lower grade but they do produce higher grade um, uh, shrimp and as you can see here I've got babies and juvies all over this tank so they've been breeding nicely for me so that's a great thing different sizes of babies too meaning that different shrimp have dropped um, dropped uh, eggs at different times, so um, that's a good thing as well. Over here is my almost gone PRL colony. Let's see if I can show you any. There's like five or so left in here, but I recently did see a couple of babies. There's, there's one right up front, uh, an adult. Um, not sure what happened, but I pretty much lost this entire colony. But like I say, I did see some babies recently, so hopefully we can rebuild. Um, that's about all I have to say about this. There's not much else to say, really. Over here is uh, one of the tanks that I'm really digging, and that's the uh, Super Crystal Reds. Uh, again, different grades and different uh, patterns and stuff. Some of them are Santa Claus. Some of them have two stripes, three stripes. I like them all. Um, there's a couple that are almost completely red, like this guy right here, or gal, I'm not sure few others in there so these guys are fun um, I'd be able to let go of some of these if you're looking for super crystals just let me know and um, we can work something out 
Um, down below is my Taiwan B tank, and um, you can see I got a shrimp lolly in there. This is just kind of mixed Taiwan bees, and I apologize for the algae on the glass. Um, yeah, I don't know much. You know, there's blue bolts, pandas, shadow pandas, um, some kind of more white looking shrimp that um, came from some red bolts that didn't really breed too well. But there's all sorts of different things in there. Um, stepping over here, we've got the uh, one of my blue bolt colonies. Doing pretty good, although I have not at any point yet seen babies or even any buried females. A lot of times when I say that though, is when I'm doing a video and kind of zooming in and next thing you know, the camera catches something that my naked eye didn't see. But I think we're kind of male heavy in here too. By the way, um, all these shrimp right now, um, I, I like to drop in a piece of food before I film just so I can kind of get a colony all kind of bunched together. But they're all eating a glass garden shrimp dinner, which is starting to uh, kind of become my favorite shrimp food. I still like Shrimp King Complete. I still like MK Breed Cheeseburger, but I've really had good success with this food. Um, any of the foods I just mentioned, I do sell on my website, AquaticSupportSystems.com. So if you're looking to try anything or that type of thing, uh, get, uh, get on in there and check it out. Another thing I really like about this tank is this, I've got this hooker ace moss on some different ledges and stuff, and it's doing real well for me. Um, this stuff's really cool. Um, I want to grow it out a little bit more before I start really selling any of it, but it's a it's a kind of a higher end, a little bit more expensive moss, and it's really fun stuff. Um, down below is a red pinto tank. Different colors and patterns, or grades and patterns, I should say. Haven't seen any breeding in here yet either, but um, keeping my fingers crossed, and also looking to probably buy some more to add to this tank. I forgot to put a piece of food in here so they're not all gathered together in one area right now like the other tanks, but kind of get a general idea. All right, so then we'll go check out this uh, rack of eight over here. Um, I'll start down on the bottom to the Crystal Blacks. That colony's doing real well right now. I've got these available if you're looking. Hit me up. Can ship, by the way. Down here is my mixed Thai B tank. It's got all sorts of different patterns and colors and things in here, calls even. So this right here then is my um, I call them golden bees slash whites. And I won't get into where they've come from, but basically I do need to do a little culling, but they, um, the shrimp in this tank either come out kind of like a golden bee color or more of a pure white. Once in a while you'll get a red stripe on them because there is some crystal red lineage in these. but this tank is uh, doing real well. Next door here, I've got a Bloody Mary tank. Let's change the light around a little. I haven't had a ton of breeding going on in this tank either. I think what I got was pretty male heavy, but there are some nice looking shrimp in here. Actually, now that I say that, I did just see a baby, there he is. So there has been some breeding, so that's good. And then upstairs here, I've got some uh, fire reds. They're over on this other side of the Choya wood. Doing okay. This tank is one that's been cycling and is ready to go. I'm just trying to decide what I want to get as far as shrimp. Um, these are my blue dreams. 
They're doing real good. Always seem to be breeding for me. You can see different sizes, juvies, babies, adults in there, that type of thing. So they're doing real good. This crip glob of <laughs> crypt right here has gotten to be so big that they're hiding in there a lot so I don't see them as often as I used to but again I put some food out and uh, that usually helps get them out for the camera and then this top tank here is also one that's recently been cycled so I'm getting ready to figure out what I want to put in there but both of these new tanks that have been cycled are going to be Caradina I've got the buffering substrate in them um, let's go ahead and check out my last two tanks, which are actually upstairs in my office. I've got another Blue Bolt tank here that I'll show you. Sorry about the algae, but uh, these are the Blue Bolts. Some of them could be considered extreme, some of them not so much. Not a ton of breeding going on in this tank for whatever reason, but uh, hopefully that'll change. Seems to go in spurts with this tank, I don't know why. And then well, I'll show you this planted tank too because it does have shrimp in it. This is my 90 gallon planted. Recently kind of trimmed it and because I let it go for a while, but now I'm getting overrun with Fissidens Fontanus that's kind of going into the Monte Carlo carpet. But as you can see, I got a bunch of cherries in here, uh, mostly fire red grade. And then uh, Got the Cardinal Tetris too, which are gonna go soon. I'm gonna probably redo this tank, if not actually get a new tank. There has some, some juvies in here as well, cause there's been some breeding going on. Um, even though there's uh, uh, fish in the tank, uh, the babies have been able to hide and survive, I guess. Uh, finally, I've got the galaxies down below here. Got about 10 of these guys and girls, um, haven't, had any breeding go on yet but I'm hoping to real soon it was the first time that I've uh, had these they're I bought them as mixed grade um, they're probably mostly lower grade but we'll just kind of see what happens all right so that's all I got for you as far as the shrimp tour goes uh, thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments below which your favorite shrimp that you saw in this video was and why. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in purchasing any of these shrimp. If you're looking for shrimp food and products or fish food, moss ledges, things like that, go to aquaticsupportsystems.com. I got you covered there. Um, and again, if you're new to this channel, I'd appreciate uh, if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I put up a video. I try to do regular videos on my shrimp tanks, my fish tanks, and my reef tanks. So um, if you're into that type of thing, uh, check it out. Hit that like button. That type of stuff really helps my channel. It also helps the hobby in general um, because uh, getting more uh, traction for shrimp and fish related videos out on YouTube just helps grow our hobby. So. Appreciate anything you can do uh, as far as helping out with those things and I appreciate you watching this video. Until next time, take care.